I bought a new camera. I'm so excited, so I was thinking that I'm going to do a little bit of an unboxing with you. So, let's see. So, I bought the Sony vlog camera CV1. And I also got the, the handle, the Bluetooth handle. So yeah, it's made for vlogging. That's one of the reasons that I wanted it. It had a lot of functions. Um, this one that the, my old camera, the one I'm using now, don't have. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to open this one. And as I said, I also got the grip, the handle. Let's get the boring parts out first. <gasps> there it is. Okay, okay. So, of course, first of all, the camera. Let's pull it. Mm, very clean looking. I like it, I like it. A grip here for holding. Then we have the big button for filming, and this one is the, the microphone, and I can attach another mic there if you want. Then it's the screen, hello! Cool. And then we also got, of course, some cords. Battery. Oh, yeah. So you, you also get this one that if you are outside vlogging or something and it is a little bit like uh, windy, then you could just attach this one and it will help uh, make the audio better. And then there's a battery. Very small. So the battery uh, life on this one is not that great. I think it's like 45 minutes worth of uh, filming. So I actually bought another battery that will arrive soon. So let's charge the battery and try it out. So now I'm filming with the new Sony CV1 working camera. I put it on the, the grip and I just charged it a little bit so I had enough to film a little bit now. I'm gonna try it out more tomorrow uh, when it's like better light uh, because it's, oh, it's really dark outside but I can see that it's a little bit of like a triangle on my eye because it's gonna monitor my, my face so it, all, so it will always focus on it because that's an essential thing when you're vlogging, so it doesn't like catch other things. There are multiple settings um, to like blur the background or smooth the face and stuff like that. So I can already see that the picture is much brighter, it's crisper. This is one of the things that I really wanted, is that the auto focus shift. So for example, I can be vlogging and then I want to show something and it, bam! There he goes, and back to me. Which my previous camera did not have. So uh, this is my old camera, I'm gonna show it to you now. Uh, this one, the Nikon, as I said, this one is seven years old. It, uh, it, was, it is bigger than uh, my new camera. It also had like the lens uh, cover, which I, <laughs> I've lost multiple times and yeah, a little bit clunky. I really like the look of the new one, it's a little bit more discreet, especially if I'm gonna be vlogging. So yeah, I will check in with you guys tomorrow. Two weeks later. Konnichiwa. I have been testing out the camera today and I filmed a little bit this morning when it was a little bit dark in the house to see how it was reacting to that and the testing the autofocus, which on um, this camera is really good. Just did my makeup and yeah, 
later today, it's December now, so later today I'm gonna bring in the Christmas tree and I'm gonna decorate it. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm so happy. I love Christmas. So yeah, let's get going to A few moments later Abby. Now I'm going to the salon okay, So I just arrived at the hairdresser So I just arrived at the hair salon I don't know if I'll be able to film inside so I will just let my camera stay in the car so this is before and then we'll see what I end up doing I'll see you in a bit three hours later so this is my new hair it's quite dark but the hairdresser told me that and uh, this is like semi-permanent so it will get brighter later after each wash so by the springtime this will be faded quite a lot so she said to me like not to worry it will not be this dark for a long time but at the start it will be quite dark but I really like it and she also like made it more even from like my fringe to the end so it looks a little bit more natural she also cut like 10 centimeters or something she ended up cutting quite a lot my hair was like until here and she told me that I was quite damaged it was like the most bleached parts so she had to cut it and I was like totally fine with that but this is the first time in quite a long time that it's like fully colored it's kind of like the exact opposite of my fully bleached hair in Japan 2019 so yeah it feels nice to have like a change so I'm looking forward to see how it grows out and how the color is gonna change but yeah I'm very pleased I'm very happy with it the next day so I just bought this new camera as I already told you and now I just went and bought myself a new computer <laughs> my old computer is useless it can't do anything so I was like you know what I can't live with this one anymore so I just bought a new one so usually all the shops are closed now on Sundays but because it's Christmas season, the store is open for a few hours. So we have to go drive for an hour to pick it up because I don't want to wait till tomorrow. So one hour later. I'm finally here. It's so dark. Let's go pick up my new computer. Zoink! Yay! <laughs> Let's go home! One hour later. So this is the new computer. Let's open it up. Mm. So 
Eller ik du ser lagt i Nauru. Shine so bright. have it the Lenovo Yoga Slim 7 I've never seen a chart that looked like that before you see that? Mm. Or just like a setup guide and security guarantee stuff cool the legal blah blah the legal blah blah mm. so finally I have a computer that actually works Yay. Yay! Like how long did I have my previous computer? Like four or five? Did I have it in Japan? So the, my old computer is at least five years old. So it was due for an upgrade. Mm. Okay, let's uh, hook this bad boy up to some power and let's see how it is. Mission accomplished. Yes! All linked up. Now we have some important setup to do. So after using this camera now for a couple of weeks, I want to tell you what I like the most about it. So first of all, the record button is really close to the end, so it's easy to press start when you're vlogging. And the second is the autofocus. I really love that I can detect my face by tracking my eye. And then when something else goes in front, it focuses on that and then it goes back to my face. Say with the background. By the way, I'm not in Japan right now. This is just my picture on the wall in my living room. <laughs> but it's from Osaka actually. I really like it. It's not actually a Norwegian person that took it. Anyway, back to the main point. The third thing that I really like is the delay of moment. I don't know what to call it, but when I'm filming with this one, when I move the camera, it slowly shifts like this. It kind of sways like this. Uh, my other camera would be very like harsh when I was moving, when I was vlogging, it would be very like, not shake in that sense, but it would be very sensitive when I was moving around. But this camera is, it slowly moves with you. So it's easier on the eyes. So that one I really, I didn't really know about that. It might be common for cameras nowadays, because as I said, my old camera is seven years old. So I don't know, but I really, really enjoyed it when I actually figured it out or when I saw it for the first time. The menu is also quite easy to navigate. I have so little knowledge about cameras and settings and shutter speed and everything like that. So, but even for me, it was quite easy to go through the menu and choose different settings, even though I have not uh, explored all the features yet, which I will be like in the future. But right now I've just been using it for vlogging. The camera itself is light and it's very sleek. As I said, like I find it quite discreet when I'm vlogging. I don't want like a big chunky camera because I think it's a little bit awkward. That's just a personal preference. And the only thing that I don't like, which is just like a very small thing, or actually two things. One is that it's very slow to shut down. So when I press the off button or I turn the viewfinder in, it can take up to like three, four seconds before it retracts. And I can be a little bit annoying because I just want to quickly shut it off and put it away, but then I have to wait for the, the lens to retract. And I'm like, Ugh. so but that's a small issue. The other thing that I'm not too fond of is the battery life. The battery kind of sucks. <laughs> so I actually bought a second cam uh, a second battery so that I can switch between the two. I think with two batteries, you'll be good to go. But if you're looking for a camera that can film for a long time, then maybe this one is not for you. My hair color, I really like it. It's still dark. I think it's maybe brightening up a little bit on the ends. But anyway, I really like it. I really love my new computer, my new laptop, the Lenovo Yoga Slim. It's uh, light, the battery is amazing. 
and it's quick and the screen is so nice and the colors. I really like the, the keyboard, it's really nice to touch and to write with. But anyway, this was a long video, a little bit about everything. My new camera, and then I was filming like my house, which is now decorated for Christmas, my advent calendar, and my trip to the hairdresser, and my very spontaneous trip to the store to buy this computer, which legit took one hour each way, and my husband was so kind to actually uh, go with me, he actually drove all the way, it was pitch dark, and the weather was bad, but he, he <laughs> went with me anyway, and it was really nice, so yeah, I'm really grateful. So I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.